everyone, I am Hoàng Thanh Tùng. Today I would like to present our work named Catastrophic Forgetting and Mode Collapse in GANs. My presentation consists of three parts. Catastrophic Forgetting Problem in GANs, the landscape of the discriminator output, alleviating the catastrophic forgetting problem in GANs. Catastrophic forgetting in neural networks is a problem usually observed in continuous learning setting, where a learner, typically a neural network, is trained on a sequence of tasks. The performance of the network on the previous tasks could be abruptly damaged by the training of the new task. In this paper, we discovered that GAN trained to approximate a single target distribution can also suffer from the catastrophic forgetting problem. Traditionally, the training process of GAN is considered as a single task. However, because of the fake distribution trends during training, the task of separating the fake distribution from the real distribution also changes. That poses two different continuous learning problems to each of the player in GAN. First, the discriminator has to separate the target distribution from a sequence of changing fake distributions. Second, the generator has to form a sequence of changing discriminators. If the sequence of fake distributions does not converge to any distribution, then the training of GAN do not converge. We need to make the sequence of fake distributions converge in order to make the training of GAN converge. Solving one of the problem above will solve the other. We focus on the first problem as it is easier to interpret and visualize. We illustrate the catastrophic forgetting problem on a synthetic dataset called the Ed Gaussian dataset. The target distribution is a mixture of Ed Gaussians placed on a circle, as shown in by the blue dot here. The fake data points are shown in red. The arrow at each data point is a, gra the gradient, is a gradient of the discriminator with respect to that data point. In the next iteration, the generator will move fake data, data points along the direction of the arrow. The fake data points in this experiment rotate around the circle indefinitely. We observe the following. When catastrophic forgetting happens, the direction of the vector field changes as soon as the fake data points move the discriminator assigns a wrong score to forgotten data points. For example, in figure 1a, the real data points in the blue box has score close to 0, while in figure 1b, it has score close to 1. The gradients around real and fake data points have the same direction as shown in the green box in figure 1a. When updated with this gradient, the generator will move all of the fake data points in the same direction. That makes the mode collapse problem visible, and the generator cannot break out of mode collapse. Similar phenomenon is observed in the on the MNIST dataset. Figure 2b to 2d shows the landscape of the discriminator output around a real data points in figure 2a. To get the landscape around a real data point, we plot uh, the score of data point along a random line through the real data point. We set the range of the line to be from minus 100 to 100. As shown in figure 2c, at iteration 100,000, the score monotonically decrease from left to right, while iteration 200,000, the score monotonically increase from left to right. 
This is similar to the change of the vector field in figure 1. Catastrophic forgetting problem is a problem that exists in GANs with different architecture trained on different datasets. We make the following observation. Observation 1. In a large neighborhood around a real data point, the discriminator is directionally monotonic. We study the relationship between catastrophic forgetting and mode collapse. Um, they are interrelated problems. When the discriminator forgets a real data point X, it assigns a low score to that data point, making the generator to move all of the fake data points to another location along the same direction, as shown by the green box in figure 1. That makes the mode collapse problem visible. When most of the fake data points are concentrated in a small region, the discriminator will forget the real data points that are far away from these regions, as shown in the blue and orange boxes in Figure 1. So that makes the catastrophic forgetting problem worse, and when the catastrophic forgetting gets worse, that also makes the mode collapse worse. In the next section, we study the cause and effect of catastrophic, of catastrophic forgetting. So, the causes of catastrophic forgetting. We identify two causes of catastrophic forgetting. The first is that information from the previous task is not carried to or used in the current task. At the current iteration, the discriminator only focus on separating the current fake distribution from the target distribution and forgets the previous fake distributions. This problem is um, more visible when a simple memory needs uh, optimizer such as the stochastic grain descent is used in training because a stochastic grain descent does not memorize any of the previous gradient information. The current task, the second cause is that the current task is significantly different from the previous task. So the knowledge of the previous task cannot be used in the current task and it gets erased by the current task. So the effect of catastrophic forgetting, it makes the discriminator directionally, directionally monotonic as shown in figure 1, 2 and figure 3, A to F. So figure 3, A to F shows that catastrophic forgetting makes the discriminator monotonic function. And in figure 3G to figure 3J, we so that by adding one of data point to the left of the real data point, we can help the discriminator to alleviate the catastrophic forgetting problem and actually make the training converse as shown in figure 3i and figure 3j. However, this approach is not effective in higher dimensional space because the number of all fake data points we need to remember will grow exponentially with the dimensionality of the distribution. So we study in the next section more effective methods for alleviating the catastrophic forgetting problem in GANs. So we study the landscape of the different discriminators. So here we show the lan landscape of the GAN chain with a zero-centered gradient penalty. 
as we can see, it produces uh, high quality and diverse samples. We note that the real data points are local maxima of the discriminator, as shown in Figure 4b to Figure 4d. The same phenomenon is observed in uh, GAN train with uh, R1 green penalty and Wasserstein GAN with green penalty. However, we note that when the local maxima is too sharp, the discriminator cannot get past this uh, flat region in the landscape and it cannot discover many of the real training data points and so it can generate high quality but not diverse samples. So we make the following observation. Observation 2. For a GAN to converge to a good local equilibrium, real data points should be wide local maxima of the discriminator. We study methods for alleviating the catastrophic forgetting problem in GANs. So based on the reasons identified earlier, we propose the following methods for alleviating the catastrophic forgetting problem in GANs. The first is to preserve and use information pro from the previous tasks in the current task. There are several ways to do this. The first is to use momentum-based optimizers. The second is to use continuous learning algorithms such as EWC or online EWC. The second method is the second category is um, the second approach is to, to introduce prior knowledge to the game in a way such that all knowledge is useful for the new task, so it will not be erased by the new task. Example of this approach includes R1 regularizer, zero centered green penalty, and imbalanced weight for real and fake samples. All of these methods try to make the real data points local maxima of the discriminator and so the fake data point will converge to this local optima, local maxima, and the catastrophic forgetting problem will be alleviated. Our experiments show that these methods are effective in preventing catastrophic forgetting problem in GANs and help to speed up the conversion speed of GANs. This is a reference used in this presentation. Thank you for your attention.